Hello, you bloody Anglophonians. Well, imagine the following. A meteorite falls to Earth and the people who touch it, they shrink in size. A whole city is abandoned because all the people are now about this size. Well, yeah, that's the premise of a story a storyline called The Little People. And today we take a look at this very special story. Pierre Zeron was born in Belgium in 1942. In his youth he was an avid reader of science fiction. He played out the stories in the garden with tin soldiers. And there the basic idea was laid for something that would later become a whole series of comics. Zeron studied at the art school in Liège with a focus on advertising illustration. After completing his studies, he initially worked as an assistant to well-known illustrators such as Dino Atanasio at Tintin magazine. After his military service, he worked for a drawing studio before he auditioned at the editor-in-chief of Spirou magazine, Ivan Delport, in 1966. After a few trial work, they were evidently so enthusiastic that Seron was supposedly even in discussion as the new artist for the main series Spirou, but that never happened. After further other work, Seron proposed a series based on the inspiration of his playing with tin soldiers. The artist later said that he had always been fascinated by this disproportion between small people and oversized nature. He called this series Le Petit Homme, the little people. The first episode of this new series of comics appeared in Spirou in 1967 and was entitled Alerte à Eslapion sur Ragevol. Alert in Eslapion. The beginning of the story puts us right into the middle of the action. A jet plane has to land quickly. However, we soon see that the proportions are wrong and that it is a very small aircraft. It also lands on a runway that was hidden. The pilot of the plane is Régis Renault, the main hero of the series. The reader realizes that these peoples are only a few inches tall and live in an underground city they call Eslapion. The city is housed in old cisterns in the city of Ragevol, but Renault has learned that the military wants to remodel the whole area. This would destroy the cisterns and the small town. Their residents absolutely want to prevent that, and at this point, there's a little flashback. How did this city come into existence? About 10 years earlier, a meteoroid fell to Earth, which was found and examined by a scientist. Shortly afterwards, strange events occur. Everyone who has touched the meteoroid shrinks to a size of a few inches. Even more, anyone who has touched someone who came into contact with the meteoroid also shrinks. At some point, all the residents of the city of Ragevol have shrunk and decide to build a new city in the old cisterns, away from the other people they now call the big ones. Since they have concerns about ending up in a laboratory or a zoo if the big ones find out about them, they prefer to remain in secret. It is true that the big ones note that Ragevol has been abandoned by its residents, but it is assumed that they simply no longer wanted to live there. The little people go undetected for 10 years. But now the military wants to build a new base on the site and dig up everything in the process. Since this means the destruction of Eslapion, the little people are doing everything they can to prevent it. At first they sabotage the military's construction equipment. But when none of that works, they break into the military archive to change the construction plans themselves. Even if the story of the little people is set in the presence, you can see very clear references to science fiction. As Lapion, the city of the little people is an utopia with a very modern interior. 
they also have aircrafts that did not exist at the time. Another point that can be seen very clearly is Serrant's pacifism, as he takes a very clear position against military structures. The superiors in the story want a new military base so they can design it as they see fit, and the poor subordinates have to grapple with the shouted orders. In later stories Serrant will take a stand much more clearly, but it is already clear here that he did not really enjoy his military service. Two positions are also clear in the story. The military wants to build its new base simply because they want and can. The residents of Eslapion, on the other hand, simply don't want to lose their home. And even if the actions of the little people also seem very militarily planned, the people who help do it out of their own motivation, not because some superior shouts an order. In the course of time, an ensemble of other characters should be found for Regis Renault. However, this story mainly focuses on him and is a thrilling adventure story. I read The Little People in comic books on the beach during the summer holidays and, for my part, acted out the stories with action figures in sand castles and I had no idea how much I would go back to the origins of the little people. So there you have it. Like last time, this story is a bit complicated, but we will take a look at it. So see you next time.